Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, October 12, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to support our channel over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we did rally up towards the 20 exponential moving average up here roughly at the 1367 and then gave all of those gains back. We're down now 0 0.20%. Uh, and at this point, my thesis for this is kind of holding at the moment. It's we found masses of resistance here at the at the 20 exponential. And the expectation is that we'll fall back towards support down here at 1341. We are in a downtrend, and as long as we are in that downtrend, we're, we're basically uh, buying these rallies is the way to go. We have been rallying for quite some time, and it's just a matter of time before this basically turns around. US dollar is uh, starting to uh, appreciate, and that, of course, it works against its uh, currency pair. If you look at the, the MACD, is still in negative territory above the signal line, indicating bullish momentum. The RSI is flat. The CCI is also flat. We are we did break above the middle of the Bollinger Band, so we could if we drop below the middle of the Bollinger Band tomorrow, then it's more likely that we'll drop back towards the bottom here, a drop of roughly one percent to the downside. Breaking below these candlesticks, well, then we are going to see this drop uh, significantly further. We can see that the uh, stochastic is also bullish at this point, so it's probably going to be a waiting game. But the rejection here of the 20 exponential moving average that is kind of uh, confirmation that we may see this uh, pull back towards the previous uh, lows. Otherwise, we have the 50 moving average just above, we have the 300 and the 100, so there's a lot of resistance above. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen, and this just went completely parabolical. We did get a we did get a flag pattern here, and basically broke out of that flag flag pattern. So we may see this rally significantly. The height of this should be where we'll we'll rally. So roughly 2.8. So 2.8 to the upside is roughly here. So 13, 14. Uh, well, give or take 114 is basically the measured move but we have just gone straight up to the air so a pullback at this point is um, to be expected we are significantly overbought we are also overstretched here in the bullish band so a pullback towards the previous highs which is the highs right here roughly around 112 and from here that should be a drop of roughly one percent so yes it went it broke out of this we were basically going sideways and it basically broke out and then we rallied to the upside but uh, the last four trading days have been absolutely um, parabolical for this currency pair and expectation is that it will pull back before going higher macd is still bullish we can see the rsi is very bullish also overbought cci is bullish stochastic is bullish and the and the bullinger band we are basically at the top here so momentum is still to the upside but we are very overstretched and overbought. So, Euro, US dollar, and this just continues to drop and drop, similar to the um, Great British Pound. And um, we're getting fairly oversold at this point. We are at the bottom of the bullish band. RSI is also significantly oversold. So a rally sometimes this week, up towards the 40, probably 50 moving average, that should be expected. And um, those rally, that rally will most likely also be sold into. So at the moment, it is a waiting game. MACD is about to cross the signal line. That could be the indication that this will start rallying to the upside. RSI is very low. CCI is also very low. And the stochastic is turning around here, but still in negative territory. So rallies here up towards the 50 and rejection. That could be a selling opportunity. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, we can see that it has rallied up towards the 100 moving average yet again, as we saw only a few weeks ago in the beginning of September, where it also completely crashed. So this was a drop of roughly 4% to the downside. And as you can see, the 100 moving average is also offering a massive amount of resistance at this point. So get a rejection here, break below the 50, then we could drop all the way down back towards the previous lows. 
So we are very overstretched here in the bullish band. So a pullback towards the middle from here, that's a drop of roughly 1% to the downside. That could be expected if we were to go higher as we are getting fairly overstretched. Our MACD is bullish at this point. RSI is bullish, CGI is bullish, and stochastic is also bullish. So momentum is definitely to the upside, but we are running into massive resistant or which we have seen in the past. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, this will um, be interesting as we are finding the support here at the 150 moving average. So this is um, as the US dollar starts to appreciate, this will basically start to decrease. And as the oil prices continue to increase, this will also get um, affected by that. By, so there's a negative correlation between the, this currency pair and oil prices. So we're finding support here. And probably the reason is that uh, oil is expected to fall, even though in the long run it, it is it's expected to continue to increase. It is getting very, very overstretched and overbought and a pullback in the next few uh, trading days that could be expected. So that could mean that we will see a rally in this currency pair as uh, as the oil prices start to decrease. Um, US dollar index uh, shows um, signs of a bullishness, so that may continue uh, rallying and that will work against this currency bear. But we are holding here at the 50, 150 moving average, and that's a good sign that this will probably be support. If you look at a MACD, it is very bearish. RSI is uh, also flat on the edge of being oversold. CCI is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and we're basically here at the bottom of the bullish band. So we could see this rally up towards the middle, and that's a rally roughly 1.19% to the upside. So hope you find yourself helpful. You want to support down by subscribing, hit the like button at the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.